So you may have heard that 24 frames per second is considered cinematic, but why is that? Why is the frame rate considered cinematic compared to any other frame rate? So in today's video, we're going to discover why this frame rate is considered so special. So if you're wanting to make your videos appear more cinematic, then your first task is to decide on a base frame rate. Now there are a few reasons why 24 frames per second is considered to be cinematic. And the first reason is that for the last 100 odd years or so, since the birth of cinema, 24 frames per second has been used throughout this time as the traditional go-to standard for all movies. Therefore, we are so used to seeing this frame rate whenever we go to the cinema or watch a movie that our eyes and our brain has become accustomed to it. Now, James Cameron bucked this train recently in the latest Avatar movie where he filmed in 60 frames per second. And if you haven't seen that movie, so you may have noticed a difference in that it felt more action-packed rather than cinematic. So the next reason is that in the early days, the cost of film was prohibitive and 24 frames per second was picked as being the compromise between the fluid mo movement and the cost of the film. And perhaps the main reason for this is that our human brains have been hardwired to accept some motion blur when viewing fast moving objects due to how fast we can process the images. Now having some motion blur appears natural to us and is expected. If there's no motion blur, then the movement becomes unnatural and it is not lifelike. Now the simplest way of demonstrating this is to simply wave your hands close to your eyes as fast as you can. And then you'll be able to see the individual fingers, but with, they will appear with some blur. Now in this example, our eyes are the camera and the brain is processing the images at around 24 frames per second. Although recent research has shown that our brain is actually capable of processing a little bit faster than this, more like 30 frames per second, but that's a completely separate discussion. Now just imagine swapping our eyes and brain for the camera. So here's an example where I filmed at 24 frames per second, waving the hands in front of the camera. Now if we freeze any frame, notice there is now blur in each of the frames, so the hand does not appear sharp. So in filming in 24 frames per second, it's just like mimicking what we have observed, waving our own hands in front of our eyes. Now here is the same video but shot at a much higher frame rate, so 50 frames per second. Now if we freeze any frame, then notice there is no blur, so the hand is sharp whichever frame we freeze. So this kind of motion doesn't appear to be natural to our eyes, maybe to a fly or a spider perhaps, but not to a human. So this effect causes the optical illusion that we see when viewing propellers on a plane or spokes on a car or a bike tire when moving at speeds where they appear to be moving backwards at a certain speed. Now in this demonstration, notice how as the speed increases, at some point the lines appear to be going backwards when they actually are moving forward. So why is this? Well, imagine our brains are acting just like a shutter in a camera. So when we see the first frame, the lines appear in this position, the wheel then rotates forward and the brain processes the image and the lines then become at this position. So if the speed is less than 24 frames per second, we see the wheel rotating as our brain understands the position of the lines. But at around 24 to 30 frames or rotations per second, it appears almost stationary as each line is rotated a full 360 degrees to be basically back at the starting position by the time our brain has actually processed the next image. Now only faster and then the lines rotate a little bit more than one rotation and each line is not quite at the position of the next line. So the illusion is that the each black line is then going backwards as our brain gets confused which line is what and can't actually track the position of any line anymore. So there you go, that's why 24 frames per second is considered to be cinematic and widely used in the cinema industry. And why the advice you hear is always to make your video frame rate 24 frames per second to appear more cinematic. Now we know what the frame rate is to be considered cinematic, is it just a case of setting our frame rate on the camera to 24 frames per second and then we're good? No, because we need to set an appropriate shutter speed. So there's a rule in cinematography known as the 180 degree rule, which gives a standard for setting the shutter speed. So I suggest that you learn what that means and all about choosing the shutter speed for your footage. So here's a video that I recommend you watch next or check out the Cinematic School playlist for more videos on learning about cinematography. Okay guys, we well, hope that video is useful and it's given you some insight into um, 24 frames per second and why it's considered cinematic. 
Of course, if it's useful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to also subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. And if you're learning about cinematography, take care and I shall see you soon on another video.